In this video, we'll discuss the personality traits associated with dreamy peach luck, as well as the facial features that sometimes, but not necessarily, go with it. Enjoy. Hey everybody. So today, we're talking about dreamy peach luck. Part of the face reading series here, we've been talking about the peach lucks in recent weeks. So the one today, dreamy peach luck, relates to the metal element. Now, when we talk about the peach lux, one of the things I want to stress, there was a good question asked last week in the face reading tutorial videos, and that was, well, if someone has this trait regarding a peach luck, how do you know if they actually have it or if they're just having it in a moment? And there is a difference. So because, say, in the instance of supportive peach luck, because a person is supportive in a moment doesn't mean they have supportive peach luck. The metric to track is naturalness and consistency. So if a person is naturally supportive and they are consistently supportive throughout the course of their life or for very long periods of time, this is more indicative of someone actually having that luck. And that's the way to think about it is the naturalness and consistency. So because any person can be engaged in an emotional state or a personality trait or rhythm for a period of time doesn't mean they have it. So that being said, let's talk about dreamy peach luck. Dreamy peach luck relates to the metal element. And so there's definitely an idealist energy in this type of luck. It's a person who is focused on the future and they typically sort of have a preoccupation with how things could be better. So they're definitely dreaming into the future, what's possible. These people can also kind of to a degree fall prey to the idea of the utopia, the perfect world where there is no conflict. And I'm here to tell you there's always going to be conflict in the world and wishing for a utopia can be hard for this personality type in that utopia, the utopian existence is, I would say, damn near impossible to come by. We're always going to have some kind of conflict. But this peach luck has characterized people that want to help and to make things better. They want to focus on what is ideal and how do we express that and it's a good thing to strive for you know being an idealist has its pitfalls like anything else but the larger working idea is that these people are going to be wanting to dream into what is possible and what can happen in the future and that can be regarding business that can be regarding family life that can be in relation to quite a few things so you want to think of it like this and pay attention to this peach luck now the other thing is because it relates to the metal element sometimes you will see metal like features on a person's face so there is crossover sometimes with the elements and these types of luck but technically a person who is fire and water dominant on their face can still have this type of peach luck you don't have to have metal traits but again there is crossover sometimes you will see metal features on people big broad open spaces big dominant cheekbones very clear and open cheeks. Those are all metal features. And sometimes, yes, they'll have dreamy peach luck. But again, don't get hung up on looking for the features and saying, well, if they have these features, it means they have the luck. We're looking for personality traits, but you wanna look for these people who are dreaming into the future, what's possible, how things can be made better. And they have a smile that has a little bit of sadness behind it, kind of like supportive peach luck, but they're more geared towards the future. So look around, pay attention to your friends, see the people that are doing this. And then if you carry this luck, be sure to use it. Focus on those big future ideas. It'll take you far. Thanks.